like me, Rami, David Icke had a pop out um, it today and he's never had a go at anybody in the 25 years he's been doing anything. But so pissed off is he to see that, that he's actually jumped on it and said, well, I'm not having it anymore. This is outrageous. Where do you see that? Well, I would say that it indicates that uh, the whole InfoWars thing has been controlled opposition from the, the get-go. And that uh, now that we, we see the end game sort of actually ramping up, they're supporting their, their candidate. They've totally flipped. And the headquarters as well. And when was this? From 85 through to 2004. Right. Okay. And what was your role there? Uh, in the regiment as a troop commander, vehicle yep. mounted troop commander. Yep. Then in the uh, commanders, I was a company commander. In the headquarters, I was the director of capability development, which is future warfare planning. What, what your plan is for the state that Australia is in and, and what you envisage to do this party that you've got going on and I'll just give you the floor for a little while and introduce yourself and um, tell us what your background is and what your plans are. Take it away, Ricardo. Thank you for that introduction. Saying, we need to protest this, we need to challenge that, and I say no, we need to build a party. Because when the collapse comes, and it will, we need a functioning organisation that can absorb all these people, corral them, marshal all of their energy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel SAS. Yeah. The best of me. Yeah. Well, I don't want to put you in a box. You worked in the military too, didn't you? For yeah, a bit? but there's different standards of military. <laughs> where, did you, mean, where did you serve? Man, I was a truck driver, 8'6". Mm. You know, and uh, I'm, I, I, had a, I, I had a good attempt at trying to become special forces. Yeah. This is the hard evidence. There is a vaccine which appears to be both safe and effective. And you're not hearing about it. Why is no one talking about this? Are you kidding me? There's no. a vaccine we could have had this, in April? This should have gone. China, the triads are pumping ice through Darwin Port. They're about to get control of Darwin, uh, sorry, Townsville Port. The triads are going to get their ice through there. They, this is, for those of you who know a bit of history, this is the Opium Wars 2.0. They are messing up with our kids through, we can't fix the, the drug problem in this country.
take responsibility for anything. How I got into the protest movement was basically a team in America reached out to me to run Millions March, Millions March against mandatory vaccinations. I signed up for that in December. When I say I signed up, I said, yeah, it sounds good. I'll, I'll try and get a team together all around Australia. I didn't get paid. <laughs> um, get out of my chair and Michael will jump on. Sorry. Hello, guys. Heavily MK Ultra town and everybody believes everything the government tells I'm a normal them. Australian parent and I stand up for our kids' future. In 2020, I discovered that the Australian government and their media mouthpieces were deliberately and knowingly suppressing investigations into alleged pedophiles, including, at the very top, judges and a former Australian Prime Minister. And that is why I know the people ruling this country do not have our best interests at heart. So help me create a free and fair Australia for kind-hearted, hard-working normal Australians like you and me. Come on, Australian Capital Territory. Stand up. Here and um, we'll catch up soon, mate. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. No, that's a great pleasure. Pleasure, mate. Thanks very much, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Over now. Yes. Bye. Bye for now. You know, this is a heavily MK Ultra town, and everybody believes everything the government tells them. And you know, this is a heavily MK Ultra town, and everybody believes everything the government tells them. You know, this is a heavily MK Ultra town, and everybody believes everything the government tells them. And you know, this is a heavily MK Ultra town and everybody believes everything the government tells them. Follow me, I'll try to talk, chat with people. I will also try to speak with some of the speakers. Um, there we go. Wonderful. I'm getting out of the way as well. I'll probably move on. So I'll be talking with people. There's lots of wonderful folks. We see the end game sort of actually ramping up. They're supporting their, their candidate. They've totally flipped. You know, and you've got to look at the internet and what, what uh, InfoWars has done. I mean, Alex has spread a lot of good information to people. He's woken a lot of people up in a lot of ways. But you look at the internet. I mean, what is it? I mean, the internet, it's been great. It's, we've, we've been able to share information and all that sort of stuff. We've been able to connect each other, but it's also 
giving the government the means to keep tabs on everyone. face to face, given that we're living now apparently in a new world order, totalitarian, uh, metadata surveilled civilizational model, which forces us to remain in our homes, effectively kidnapped by the state. Very good to see you. Nonetheless, you are the leader of the Australia One political party, which is seeking to take uh, government in Australia. government the means to keep tabs on everybody and by presenting things like the way Alex does and getting people rolled up and angry and getting all these people you know screaming me out and can we get a hundred thousand fucking men just to storm parliament seriously drag these fucking corrupt traders out and fucking throw them in the bin because they're that fucking filth and they don't deserve the office of this country none of them none of them guys fucking disgusting I'm just waiting waiting for someone to come back and say, let's fucking go. Let's just go. I, I don't know about you guys, but when <laughs> I'll go there, I don't, I've got no fear of death. Ah! Ah! on the streets yeah! and if we need to shed blood for peace and so be it yeah. getting people rolled up and angry and getting all these people you know screaming we ignore the filth we shun the filth we do not abide nor comply with any rules or regulation handed down by any pedophile protecting politician and that's all of them nor they're hired thugs. Hello? Hello? 
So when they come up to you and they're like, you haven't got a mask on, we're going to find you. And they say, what's your name? You say, well, I can't recall. And then they say, right, well, we're going to have to arrest you now and take you down to the police station. Um, what you want to want to be mindful of is whilst you're walking into the police station, pay attention to where the windows are, where the doors are, emergency exits. You know, you really, you've really got to know the lay of the land inside the police station. That's really important because moving forward, that's going to be really useful knowledge. So don't be fearful of that. I mean, you know, if they say, oh, we're going to take you down the police station, you want to be there, okay. And you've got to keep the keep the plan in your head, you know, till you get home and write out the map and make sure you keep a copy of it. You're a pain actor from the deep state. I call you out. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I've been caught. I've been caught. Yes, you have been. How much have I been paid? I don't know how much you've been paid, but you're a liar. It's like the way Alex does in getting people riled up and angry and getting all these people. I've seen body parts of children, multiple children. I've also been to the docks and seen, I'd say hundreds, but there was probably thousands, I don't know, because it was a little bit of a distance, but there was body after body after bag after chain after rack after cage. <laughs> You need to open your fucking eyes, Australia, and understand what's happening. It's time for the people to consolidate all of their abilities and their resources to create our own controlling, controlling interests. We are going to raise $30 million. We are going to build such a war chest of funds that God help anyone who tries to hide themselves from the truth. Right, I don't answer to anybody. Who the f It's good to have you back, mate. How you been? Good. Nice to be here, fellas. Thanks for having me on for a chat, brother. Interesting to be on Facebook. I'm not used to live streaming on Facebook. Yeah, and they let us actually do it. <laughs> do you remember last time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really excited to have all of you back to the New Earth platform. You aren't embedded with the CIA and their fathers aren't on board with the Rockefeller Foundation. <laughs> what? Um, Walt Adams, a fellow who is Okay, so apparently uh, Sir Walter Adams Rockefeller fellow who is Sasha Stone's father. I love how people just, uh, you know, so um, I love how people get on without a profile picture and they sit there and start asking questions. I'm not going to answer your crap, mate. I myself have joined the Lawful Rebellion and the Aussie Patriots role. And I recommend that if you are serious in taking back control of our country, that you do the same. I think you'll agree with me. dissidents are and so now he's, he's sort of pushing pushing the political agenda the way I, I believe he always has been I mean they, they don't call it the net for no reason they don't call it the web for no reason it is a web and it is a net and it's caught a lot of people they know where all the free thinkers are now what if instead of dropping bombs they spread lies and instead of using camouflage, they create fake identities and steal information. Conflict is no longer bound by air, land and sea. The information environment is the new battle space. In this rapidly changing world, we need to be ready. 
to fight with a computer as well as a weapon, using armoured information systems as well as armoured vehicles. Where our adversaries seek to divide, Australia's Defence Force comes together. We're building a 21st century fighting force to defend and protect us in a connected world. Information Warfare Division, for the Warfighter. If we don't continue, we will get hurt. It's the certainty. You haven't left us a choice. You've really backed us up against this wall. It's okay. We win. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> the way, final we'll outcome. I, look, I am so certain of the final outcome. I really am. I am not yeah. the least bit concerned about whether we win. The only question is when we win <laughs> and you how do. many politicians I have to hang in the meantime. Yeah. yeah. It's so, be. ladies and gentlemen, I suggest you, um, you look at what's in your best interest. How much are we getting paid? Yeah, I just think that uh, he's been bought and paid for. I think he's been controlled opposition all along. United has won. Say there's, there's there's globalist infiltration all in this. All of us uh, conspiracy theorists or truthers, or whatever you want to call out there, we're going to be like this. We told you so. You wouldn't listen. 